Something, guys. We're back. This is the first session of me being an official daddy. We Koa and Kushi are at home all nice and cosy. Um, he's doing well. Kushi's doing really well. Absolutely amazing. Obviously, being a first time dad, first time mum, sleep is a little bit of a it's not much, anyway, but we, we're surviving. Um, Kush is smashing it. Got a newfound bit of energy now again, um, even more than I had last time, so just got to keep that kind of positivity, that energy, everything just on the app, because now we've got the wee man, got King Koa to do proud. The warrior, the divine one, the proud man. That is my son, Koa. So yeah, this is um, Monday, this is press day for me, so it's a new press. Warm-ups are relatively the same, couple of new warm-ups to do. We'll walk you through them as we always do here in, in Raw Strongman. Then I believe I've got push press, barbell push press, behind the neck press, some Viking press, and then accessory stuff. But, as always, it's time for the pre-workout from my protein. Any fathers out there? First time fathers, newborn fathers, or whatever the sayings are. If you're struggling with sleep, still want to train, get yourself a little sashay. Mm. Oh, wow. And you'll be good to go. Oh, it's nice. Tropical storm. So, prep for Europe's strongest man and world's strongest man. So you better believe I'll be there. You can't keep me away, baby. Remember. I don't know. I'm a daddy. Anyway, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's the coach. How are you? Good, mate. Yeah. She feels getting a bit of cramp there, so it's basically like giving birth, but and I am only joking. It's obviously a lot worse than giving birth. <sighs> ER impulses. So, whoa, that didn't work. Oh, I feel that burning. And then this last one's the first one is there, kind of just little movements, and the second one a little bit further. And then the third one is right open. So. <clears throat> so that was our uh, impulses movement prep, whatever it's called. Usually my impulses consist of fast food and chocolate. <laughs> God, such an American. Let's see how this goes, mate. May stick. Jeez, oh. I'll be class as a night. Probably not, but just be a guy living in a wee village and we're just chilling. It'll be much better fun. Why would you risk your life for someone, like for a king? Like, risk your life for your wife, family, your mates and that, but I don't really understand. I don't mean that in a bad way, but monarchies and stuff. Whew. What's that? Better not get into that topic. Let's go over to Rumble for that one. <laughs> Ah. 
height push. I'm going to push press now, so three sets, um, barbell, barbell push press from rack, three sets of eight. I'm going to go raw. Just now, just get the Olympic shoes on. New Stoltman shorts will be out soon as well, which will be cool. As well as the new spicy t shirts. So, going for a different flavour on the intra workout today strawberry and lime. Not, not as nice as the cranberry and raspberry. The way I'm seeing this prep, because Europe's so close to the world's strongest man, you could almost assume that the events at Europe's are going to be similar to world's strongest man. So for me, this is Europe's focus and world's focus. So um, that's why I'm treating it. So for me, Europe's strongest man is a massive competition. And that's why, I don't know why, I messaged Arnold. I haven't said this. Actually, this is a, this is first time I've said this. I've messaged Arnold, but they haven't replied to me in regards to the UK Arnold's, but I won't be doing the UK Arnold's. Um, mainly for the reason that I, in my head, I want to do Giants Live, Europe's Strongest Man, because it's going to be more similar to World's Strongest Man. And for me to start a whole new training block for a competition with the birth of Koa. Um, you know, I've got to look after him, look after Kushi, we've got the business to run, we've got training to do, we've got all these different things. So for me to train for two competitions that are different, it just wouldn't be beneficial for me. So that's why I'm not doing um, Arnold's UK's. So, yeah, if you're watching this guy, he's dropped me a message. I, <laughs> I messaged him like last couple of, 10 days ago or so. It's still gonna be a cool show, but I'd just rather spend as much time at home as I can in the early stages of COA being here and I want to spend as much time. And for me, the priority isn't to go down to the Arnold Expo and spend three days down there. I'd rather spend that three days with Koa and Kushi. So I hope everyone understands. Big Tom's still going to be there. Coming for Europe's. Okay, so let's do some more ups So we're doing three sets of eight working sets. Uh, first set is 110. It's all paying off. Like I'm, I'm coming in here after Britain's watching Kush give birth to Koa. Um, like no aches, no pains. To be honest, like, you know, we got up the road Sunday and then Kushi and I had to go to the hospital on Monday. So the day after, I felt like I could compete again, which was, class that's what I like sometimes from it because it's a good indication that your body's that's peak you know it's peaked and everything felt absolutely amazing at Britain's apart from the bag toss but we will rectify that um, so I've got three new throw bags so um, that will have we'll have eight throw bags now so um, if I can get into the process of almost doing eight bags then when we you know have Giants Live whatever we'll have a throw event again and doing six shouldn't be an issue. Um, so again, it's just training that, that part of your body. So yes, there's 110. Um, do a little hold at the top for eight reps. So pop, hold, down, it's easy. That's lovely. I couldn't get you oh, That's class. <laughs> One twenty mate. Yeah. <laughs> 
the last set, 130. And then for the last so on eighth rep, I've got to do a slow, controlled eccentric on the way down. So I can count to 10 seconds or so on the way down. So I was supposed to do that in the first two sets, but I've got baby brain. How many hours sleep, by the way, you literally want at the moment? Last night, I think we had, I managed to get like three hours of sleep, but it's, it's fine because you've still got that adrenaline in you to snow. So I took them to the beach. <coughs> Just take, took him for a drive and I went to the beach for a swim this morning. Obviously he didn't, it's a bit wet here, but um, just trying to get him outside as much as we can. Um, and just make sure he's okay, because you know, these wee, wee rascals uh, depend on us, don't they? Hopefully Cushy will be able to sleep a bit more today or tonight. So I think she's been off like, I don't know, two hours sleep probably since she gave birth. So. But I think that's quite common, you know, for, for the women, because all the hormones and everything, it's, yeah. Anyway, last set, um, 138 reps. Oh, yikes, I That was five seconds, if not. I've just got behind the neck press, and that's me. So we're up to a heavier one today. Heavier single, three sets of eight. So first set is at 80. Jeez. Right, uh, 90 heels, eight reps again. Oh, oh, only six today. Jeez, oh, it's tough. Oh, Mickey me. Oh, thank God, that's done. <sighs> hey guys, so what have we got? Viking press. So that's at Europe's Strongest Man, so not doing super heavy at the moment, so I've got resistance bands on, I've got the greens on just now. Hopefully they'll stay on okay. Uh, I'm going to do seven sets of three. I'll put 10 kilos on top of that. Um, just to see how that goes. Shoulders are fried. Facing that way, because that's what we did last time in Giant Swim. So I'm assuming it'll be that way again. Right, let's get it done. Hope these bands stay on. <laughs> hey. There's four reps here because I didn't think I locked the first one out, so... Jeez, oh, that's wild, that. I want it to be about 40 kilos at the top. That feels like about 100 kilos. Oh, jeez, oh. We'll be able to carry the wee man. <laughs> anyway, right, stop it, come on. <coughs> Better. 
sometimes if I'm a bit for back, I'm pressing, it's not getting locked out because my feet are too bar far behind my hips. So I think I just needed to, big Tommy, just need to bring my feet forward slightly. So I'm leaning more back, I'm getting it locked out. So maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Three down, four to go. A nice white van parked there. Why would you not park a van there? Flies, whatever that means. Three sets of this to do, but Tom, but Tom's just come in and said, Oh, just doing a boring bodybuilding day. I think he's up to about 200 and incline press, as, as you do. Enough about Tom. Come film me and do watch my unilateral peck fly band stuff. <laughs> so much more impressive. <laughs> Last set for me, so eight reps in the chest press. <sighs> well, I'm tired now, guys. <coughs> Yes, it was heavy. Neutral rib cage. No idea what that means, Sinead, but apparently that's. Don't even do anything. Don't touch me. Ah, do not touch me. Don't bother. Please don't. Just let me do this. Why don't? That's weird, Tom. Stop. <laughs> You weird old man. Any shakes, please. <laughs> so oh, shit, sorry. I thought it was a nose. I was looking at the camera, sorry. That's my bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, so stupid. Hey, guys, that is the uh, first session back after Britain's and after uh, we co come along. So, decent one. Six reps. Uh, 100 by the neck. What an eight, but it is what it is. It's one of those things. But yeah, just keep progressing now for the next few weeks, obviously. Start getting back to the diet, everything. But yeah, happy enough to get back into it. Really good session. Happy. Nice to see Big Tommy back and smashing out crazy weights in the axle. Just because. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll maybe catch you, catch you later on in the, in the week. You know what to do. Bye. Right, guys, so it's Wednesday again. We are doing events. I'm pretty...
battered this week. I've had a, I've kind of like changed my train around completely. Um, post Britons, I've not really had a rest. My nervous system, central nervous system, kind of burnt out like maybe Thursday, Friday last week. So I took that off and went into train Saturday and Sunday, which I never ever do. And then obviously Monday, I did like a bodybuilding day. And then Tuesday, I did deadlifts, which were you know heaviest enough. And then today we're doing all the Arnold events today, so it's hellish. So it's going to be hell in the body, but we're just going to try and get it done. Sometimes when you don't have energy, you, you know, you get into it when you warm up and stuff, but I've got goals. As long as I'm hitting the kind of numbers, I can drop a rep, I can drop a set. So like, you know, I think today I'm meant to be hitting 170, 180 in the axle. And if I, if it's, I think it's meant to be for two or three, Dan's going to be on the corner. But if I feel like just doing one, I'll do like two singles. Cause you know, I'm still hitting it. And uh, this axle is very hard as well. It's much more denser than the other axle. We'll, uh, See what ones, but we've also got the new frame from Rebel, which we'll be using today. Uh, I'll probably, I think I'll be doing some dinny walks. So yeah, it's all kind of get through today. The main thing is to get through today. But yeah, I took a, a really strong pre-workout last yesterday for deadlifts because I was feeling a bit, thinking I'm never doing it again. Because I had like eight hours sleep, but it wasn't good quality. So I woke up feeling kind of lethargic. I think it was equivalent to like drinking free reins. So you think about go neck free reins and then try. It's just, oh, never again now. So. Hey! Let's, All right, buddy. let's see if you can see this one. That log in the way. Right guys, so we've got to change the plan a wee bit. Um, in the warehouse we don't have as much metal plates and stuff and we had the kind of axle on these um, the, the, the drop pads and they were bouncing off when I was trying to do sets. So I was meant to do like a set of three to four. So instead I just did four singles. Um, you know, two or three of them were quite comfy. Then the fourth one you could see I was trying to practice to then, if it gets harder to know how to like kind of clean it. because. I'm pretty f efficient at the cleaning, so I just want to know how it is when I'm when it gets heavier and harder. So, yeah, it was good. Then, next up is uh, stones, uh, natural stones. Obviously, we're gonna do a bit different day again. We can't really do, you know, unfortunately in this, this warehouse we can't really do stone medleys. It's just me and Tom, you know, and it's too dangerous to do anything like that. We tried it last week and it was a bit dodgy. So, I'm just gonna do some pressing with it first. I think we've got the 130 and the 137, so I'll probably press them and then get the 170 out. And if I do one, it one rep, but you can control the stone so much, but if it goes away from you, it, it is what it is. So it might again have to be like two singles, which is better than nothing. So ideally we'd like to do like one drop and then do two, but um, yeah, we'll just try and see it. Like I said, it's still, uh, it's still good getting stuff done. So um, we'll get that set up and then hopefully after that, everything will be quick. Then we've got just, Frame and Denny to, Denny's to do after that, which is two grip events, which are going to be hellish, but yeah, we'll get it done.
There we go. We're only two events in, I'm, I'm wrecked. This was Nats of Stones, really, really hard. Um, so I did a 115 to warm up off camera just to kind of get loose again. Pressed the 137, as you'll see there, which was quite nice and nice and good. Then we've got the two 170 kilogram stones, as people know Brett gave us. And uh, you know, the difficult thing about natural stones is obviously why I have stopped training them in sandbags, because sandbags, you can jam your fingers right under and don't think about it. You're, you're picking up it at the same, your arms are the same, uh, place etc whereas natural stones one arm could be in front one arm could be back and it could land on your knee this way it could land on your knee that way so like with the first 170 it was I, I got it up but it was a bit more of a effort but it's still you know these these are really brutal I think these are really really hard stones um so then I did the second 170 you could see with the one set I was seeing I was trying to get pivot points as well just to see where I am picking up because you know that's what you're meant to do it's all about confidence of these things once you once you know you can break the floor, it's just about ripping it onto your lap. And once you get it onto your lap, it's so important to try and just get your hips and try and turn the stone as well. It might only land here, but if you're strong enough to get onto your shoulder, then good. All it has to do is land on your shoulder for a second arm off, bang. So very, very happy with how it goes. Now we're going to be doing frame. This is going to be my first time on the new frame. We did have a wee square one that like 50k but this is 200k built by rebel strength very happy with how this is today probably be going up to 400 who knows how fast it'll be who knows how good it'll be it's a guessing game i'm gonna go get the 50ks that i took from the car then we're gonna put them on do a few sets and we're gonna end with dinny stonewalk so two brutal events to finish it but then that's once today's over the rest of the week you work hard but this is the hardest done so yeah guys let's do it so, man. Do you want a selfie? Dan just broke my screen. Uh, <laughs> That's ten. Oh, jeez. That's, That's loud. Right guys, so, I mean that's frame, frame's always been in my head, but today, it was, four, it was about 350 was the plan, but I think it was just important for me today to try and do 400, I mean, what I kind of did was about 12 metres, which I think the, the Arnold's will be like 11 metres or something, but uh, yeah, 300 was decent, 350 was good, and then 400, you know, I, this is my first time on the, the frame as well, so I'll start getting better pickups and stuff, but, you know, I walked with it for about, say eight nine meters there which is good that's like you know, in Arnold's last time I think I did like four meters so in the next few weeks we'll be doing maybe this twice a week maybe some lighter like speed runs of 300 on that Wednesday with some holds then on Friday some heavier ones my first callus as well so uh yeah we've got fucking Denny's next and let's see what happens here because that's a pain in the ass now but let's see what we'll grin and bear it eh? so I mean, what I'm gonna do to today is literally just trying to go balls out with a bit heavier than Denny's because it's hard to obviously get it exactly. And obviously you have to have like a 40 kid difference. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> we might not even show it, it depends if it's good, but we'll show it another set, so. Stop, Tom. 
Oh! Oh! Oh my god! That big step. I like the little party. Right guys, that's a good end, I think. You know, I think Denny Stones, again, obviously, you know, I'm really lucky that I got to go down to Brett's because I've all, you know, I'm one of the strongest guys in the world. Brett helped me kind of with the Denny's and I actually really feel like I'm locked in, even with that callus, like, even that pickup, like, that's heavy. I think that's 190, 150, or 191, 151 if you count the handles. So that's over Denny weight and it's at, like, I think we measured it there, nine metres. Uh, I mean, we should have measured it on camera, but um, we had some technical difficulties with that. So, yeah, nine metres. Um, I'm very happy with that. That's, like, close to our world record, I think. And uh, I think I've got a really good hoop grip. And I think it's just about pain and suffering. You just have to want to suffer. And I think that's that probably was about a 30-second or so hold and run. And it's, uh, yeah, I'm so, I'm so confident with that. So hopefully, maybe in the next two weeks, my last session would be good to get on the Denny Stones down at Brett's and you know, just walk with them, and then that means I get a good feel for both of them. And I know that I can do them because, I mean, 150, 191, whatever it is, is heavier than our, uh, is heavier than the Denny Stone. So I know exactly how to pick them up. I know where to put my hands now, and it feels good. So very good confidence boost, especially my body's burst. It's good to show that I'm training still like this. You know, it's hard to motivate myself as well sometimes. I mean, you know, Luke's just a dad now, which is unbelievable. He'll, he'll be baby core, but like, you know, he's got his motivation and gets that stuff, but for me, I still find it hard to get motivated. I mean, when you're coming here on a Wednesday by yourself to do events, you do miss, you know, you, I do miss training with Luke a wee bit because I don't have that kind of same, like, you know, I can get packed into position, but it is what it is. I'm still here. I'm still training. I feel unbelievable. Even like, you know, this is my, my mentality right now is very, very good, but my body is very, very tired. And I think with this mentality that I've got, I'm pushing through boundaries. And, you know, when I have this deload, it's the same with Britons. The second last week of Britons, I was dead on my feet and then I had that deload and I, and I went away to Loch Lomond and chilled out so it's going to be the exact same at Arnold's. So I'm really excited, I'm doing everything I can to put in the best performance I can and have the best performance I've had at Arnold's which again I started the year off good and I'm going to keep continuing. So yeah that's me done. I'm going to go home now, um, I'm going to go to Invergordon Leisure Centre, fingers crossed I can get there in time. This has been what, about a four hour session time haven't I, of everything just setting up stuff so it's been long long long, this is my longest session yet but yeah we we're there, it's good to go, let's go. Thanks guys for watching, stay safe, smile and stay spicy.